Hi guys, so I am just literally going to show you my take on what I'm going to try and do um, the tape, the scotch tape um, to uplift my eyes and make sure my eyeshadow doesn't end up going down here. Um, Risa does makeup, um, this is her technique, I'm going to credit her below, she's fantastic, I hope you watch her. Um, and I'm going to just, just go for it, so I'm going to make this a quickie, I'm going to take off a length that big, uh, stick it to your hand first of all, uh, so it doesn't stick to your skin and never come off. Let's see, that's too big. And I'm going to place this following my lower lash line up to my eyebrow and I'm going to push it down to make sure it's quite seamless in between my hood. When I open my eye and there's a line going that way which will hopefully uplift my eye. I'm going to do the same on the other eye and use that bit of tape. Uh, I'm going to go. Now this, I just want to show you this eye is way more hooded than the other one. So this outside piece of skin comes down so I'm going to have to open my eye quite wide. Put it down there like that. Feels a little bit uncomfortable, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I've got a face pack on, I can't shut my eyes. So I think that's even, um, I'm just going to go for it. So um, I bought a palette with me today that's, I would say, quite easy to blend. It's got a quite a nice graduation. This is the Going Coconuts by Colourpop, um, my rider, one of my ride or dies, one of three. So now I'm going to prime my eyelids with, um, I've got Urban Decay Primer Potion, just in the original. You can get an old person's one of these, anti-wrinkle. It's got actually a slight tint, so it's probably not too bad. Uh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I hope I can do this. I really do. There's a bit of skin there. I'm not trouble is all the skin's like flapping around. It's impossible to tame. The hoods are not for taming. Oh, I'm just outside the spare room window. My everything's propped up on the windowsill, so this is not going to be ideal. But we're just going to do it because I keep procrastinating about this. I did it once before at the end of the day and it was horrendous so I'm not expecting today to be much better but um yeah so as you can see I've got some gathers going on there I'm not sure what to do about that I'm just going to leave them and see because I'm just going to leave them and see can you see the gathers here in fact I might try and loosen that a bit that's my hood leave it quite natural there we go not trapped skin is not trapped so okay this shade here Transition shade, we're going to go halfway up my eye and we can go all over the tape now because it doesn't matter. These are, this is quite a neutral colour, it's lovely. Um, and I'm going to take this going up out to my outer, almost just underneath my eyebrow so we've got a, a, an expanse of skin to cover on my eyes. But yeah, I want to bring that as far over as possible just to create a transition. Do the same on the other side, starting in the middle and I'm doing this very softly. This is the only time you'll see me wafting my brush around. Going under into the bone, I'm actually pressing on that bone there very very lightly. This is a big big, let's show you, it's a big big fluffy brush. As big as you can get, as big as you dare. Oh Dolly's just brushed my leg with her tail. And again, I'm going out to, as you can see, just underneath the eyebrow. Just go a bit further than you feel comfortable. I'm going to go a bit more on that one over there, look. Because remember, when you're laying down the colour, it's not actually, you're not going up here. It's just a wisp of colour on the ends. Okay. So, that's the transition shade. Those wrinkles have come back, haven't they? Bloody things never go away. Right, uh, next shade down. I'm going to go in with this one and a different brush. This is a big fluffy brush, but it's a smaller brush, smaller head, same shape mostly. And we're going to go in with this colour. Do the same thing again, and I'm going to do it just underneath the other one. So lifting up my eyelids. And now I need to start patting. Patting distributes the colour better, packs it on. And it also doesn't skip because obviously we've got 
many, 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 many wrinkles. And if you, whether you're my age or not, um, if you've got hooded eyes, that skin's got to go somewhere, hasn't it? While you're hey, darling, got to go somewhere while you're doing your eyeshadow. So just patting that in. I'm pushing it in probably where my crease would be had God given me one. Same on this side again, right over to the edges. And as you notice, I'm moving my eyelid up and down to make sure that the colour goes into every single fold, every single wrinkle, every single bit of crepiness. Because if it just stayed in the same place, it wouldn't get into the gaps. So, just a bit lower. Now, hooded eyes. To make sure you see what everyone else is going to see, you need to look into the mirror directly. Eye contact. All about eye contact. So I'm looking into my mirror, look at those wrinkles, look at those flaps of skin. See what that looks like when it comes out. Of course I'm not proclaiming to be any kind of expert on this. Just want a bit of a, a bit more of the middle colour. And then we're going to go to a little bit darker. This is, I've tried, I tried this yesterday, actually on a very, very, very smoky eye with the Juvia's Place chop. Oops. It's starting to get a bit sweaty under there. Right, okay, so next brush down. This is the Zoeva Petite Luxe Crease brush, something like that. It's the same kind of brush, a bit more pointed on the end. And I'm going to go in with this darker shade. The darkest shade on the palette. No glitter, no nothing. I'm going to tap this off all over the other colours. And now I'm going to go halfway across just to see how it is. Lifting my eye, of course. And I'm stamping it on. Dogs are playing on the bed, sorry. And I'm going and stamping the colour, lifting and closing my eyelid. Hey, pack it in, please. Okay, so I'm, I would say that I'm halfway between my brow and my lash line. And I'm just going to look at it straight on, and I'm quite happy with that. I have this massive problem with all of this. Let me point it out to you. All of these flaps of skin that are hanging around here, because sometimes they take the colour. The darker the colour, the more difficult it is to get it uniform. But anyway, uh, same on the other side. Tap it off. Again, start in the middle, halfway across your eye. And we're just blending out. No, we're not blending out. We're tapping out. Tapping out. There we go. Okay. I think I might put a bit too much dark on there. Let's we'll see. It's the same on both sides, so whatever it's going to look like, it's going to look like. Patting it around, 10 pence piece size, halfway between my lash line and my brow, just under the other colour. What I'm going to do now is just take a big fluffy brush. This is um, Sigma E40. Everyone loves that brush. And I'm going to blend away from the tape, making sure that all of the lines are pretty seamless. Same on this side. And I'm looking directly into the mirror. You can probably see better than me at the moment. The monitor's rubbish. It's just my phone. And yeah, that's... I've literally got fallout all over my cheeks. <laughs> so I'm just going to go and get my fan brush. I will be back. Okay, found my lashes on the bedside table. They're exactly where I left them last night. Perfect. Okay, sorry. I just ran up and down the stairs. I can't find my... I can't find my fan brush, so I'm going to have to use this. I don't know how it's going to go. I actually got a black line on my face. Okay, we're going to have to ignore the black stuff on my chin. So I'm just going to blend that on this side a little bit, if you can see. I don't, I'm not sure that's blended quite as well as it could be. Right, should we take it off? Okay, now. My concern is that I've now got two stripes on my face. So if I was to go and top up my makeup, I guess I would get rid of that. So I'm going to do that and come back uh, at the end. I just want to join up the bottom, so to show you how I do that. So um, I've got a, a brush, MAC 212, and I'm going to, I'm going to take the darker colour and I'm going to stamp that now to meet the other line. Hopefully, it should be quite symmetrical. And I'm going to go two thirds of the way along. Okay. 
and we're going to do the same on the other eye a very small amount of powder please ladies and gentlemen stamp it onto my lash line again two thirds of the way across tiny tiny bit more and I've got a dip here so I want to blend this with um, I'm going to blend it with a pencil brush any old pencil brush will do <clears throat> I've actually this this one was from some junk shop but this is a Zoeva Lux pencil brush this one's really good but it's the same as that one but I use that for my inner corner I don't want to get any dark color on it so because we've got a stark line here I'm going to put my finger on my hairline so I don't muck up my makeup anymore and I'm going to squint a little bit and I'm going to blend this because it's very very sharp line okay we're going to do something with it afterwards same on this side in your hairline sorry that I need to keep looking in the mirror I'm sure you get, get the thing just pulling it out a little bit so it's not so stark same on both sides okay so I'm now I'm literally winging it <laughs> no pun intended uh, I'm going to take this in a smaller flat-ended fluffy brush the smallest one there is that's from revolution somewhere along the line and I'm going to go back to right to our very beginning color and I'm going to oh find myself line underneath that line there to not make it so harsh same on this side I'm needing to keep my mouth shut while I'm doing this I'm not talking oh the mirror's gone off let's come back Okay, and then I'm going to go with the middle colour, just for the sake of uniformity. And I'm going to run that along there as well. On this side. Right, so, in order to try and make this line not so harsh, I'm going to start blending as, it, as I normally would. So I'm going to, have to go with the transition colour. This is a good pencil because it's quite, I'm not going to say it's hard, but it's less fluffy. I need a bit more definition. I need a bit more control over the makeup that I'm, I'm putting on so I'm going to gently blend that color here onto that line and as you can see it's working it's disappearing a little bit maybe I went a bit ham on it but you know this is the second time I'm doing it so same on this side I've got to be careful because this is where all the wrinkles are this is a really downturned eye Look at that bit of sun, probably completely obscuring your view. It's blinding me, but and there's a little bit of colour there. Pop out for my finger. Okay, just want a bit of. Just gonna pull that over a little bit. So for me, I guess because I'm used to adjusting my eyeshadow, and I'm used to my face, it's relatively difficult for me to do this um, because I'm having to essentially start from scratch um, but if you guys are new to makeup and you're worried and you have downturned eyes or wrinkly eyes and you need a guide of not going over because you have to have your eye shadow lifted up to lift your eyes so your, so your hoods kind of disappear so it's really really important to have nothing lower than your you know your lines got to continue up so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and touch up um, my face makeup because I did all that before um, and I'm going to put mascara and lashes on and I'm going to come back so I might look completely finished. Actually I'm just going to show you I got I brought everything with me like my blush and my concealer and everything else but I'm just bouncing a dry beauty blender because I was too lazy to put it make it wet and that's all gone away really so yeah that's not too bad is it. So, I don't need to worry about that, I don't need to worry about that. Oh, shit, one of my lashes is missing. Okay, finally faffed around enough. Okay, I'm going to put on my mascara. Okay, so this is the look with just mascara. As you can see, the lines are pretty much blended out now. Maybe I go, I think I've probably used a bit too much of a dark colour on the outside, but the technique, it kind of worked. Um, yeah, like I said, go over it with a beauty, beauty blender. Um, Hope this is in focus. Looks like heaven and heavens are coming down on me. Terrible lighting. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay, and now I'm going to put on my lashes. Right. Okay, I've got my lashes on. Are you with me? 
find somewhere a bit better to look at my eyes. Okay. What do you think? My lash glue is probably not dry. Well, I think actually that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think I'll take that as a win. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, watch the next one that's coming up on the screen. I'll give you some more tips.